Hey, Jeremy here with another tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to add some shadows to typography and you can apply it in many other situations. There's heaps of ways to do it, but I'm going to show you a few cool ways to add some nice dimension and type. So what I've got here is just the letter A. You can use, you know, any letter for an example, but I'm just going to use this letter and it has this nice swash here, as you can see here, and it's lobster too bold. And I'm pretty sure that's a free font. So you can use that. So what we're going to do now is um, we have this typography I can leave it live, so that means I can type. So I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'm going to lock it. So I'm going to press Command or Control 2. That's going to lock the type. So you can see here, we want to give the effect that this is casting a shadow. This ligature is casting a sh shadow on this typography here to make it sh seem like it's going over it instead of under it. So what we can do now is get the pen tool. So press P for the pen tool, and then just make sure you, you press caps lock so it doesn't have the X, it's got the mouse there. And what we can do now is I'm going to zoom in by holding Alt and I'm going to find the most finest point there at the corner. And I'm going to go all the way outside the other corner and I'm going to drag. And you want to try and line it up with that other corner as well. As you can see there. So if I just get rid of this stroke, you can see if I zoom in, you can see how it's quite not on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you can always go through and make edits. I'm just going to edit this handle a little bit by press holding alt. And yeah, that looks good. And then what I can do, le left click back on here. And what I can do, go down and then I'm going to go up. So you're making this sort of triangular shape. And I'll bring this out as well, like that. So now if I change the color to a blue or a red, you can see how it's looking. So this is the shape we have. So what I can do now, if I change it to blue and I go to multiply, it's going to make it a dark tone. It's too much, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna change the opacity to about 50%. And you can see now it's got that nice shadow, but we've got this excess that we have to cut off. So what I'll do to do this, is I'll unlock this type. I'm going to select it with the, um, by pressing V. I'm going to select it and press Control C, Control F to copy it. So I've got a. Just make sure you don't select the background and the type. Control C, Control F. So now I've actually selected this. Make sure your background's locked so it doesn't select that. And what I'm going to do with the one on top is I'm going to go to Object and sorry, go to Type and Create Outlines. The shortcut is shift control zero or O and now it's a shape. So we just converted the type to a shape. And what I can do is select that shape and select this shadow we just made, pressed shift M for the shape builder tool. And you can see now that I, it rec, Illustrator recognizes each part as a shape. See that as you put your mouse over, it's a shape. So now I'm just gonna hold alt or option and minus off this excess by just left clicking or left clicking and dragging there. And now we minus that off. And now I can delete this or just drag it off just for a backup. And now you can see we have this nice shadow under our little, you know, bridge or ligature um, flourish there. And you can see that it adds a nice dimension. It makes it look like that it's coming over it instead of under it. So that's pretty cool. You can also add some more shadow as well by doing it another way. So if I just, I'm just going to copy, leave that to the side and just copy this again. We can do another type of shadow. This time we'll add a, a gradient. So what we can do now is I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Use the pen tool. And then I'm going to make it long ways. I'll make it longer like that. So you can see there that we have this nice shape. And once again, I'll bring this this A up here. I'll try and overlay it on top so then we can cut off the shape. Cool. And I'll select the shape again. And I'll cut off the excess. Like that. And then I'll bring this out. So now we have this shape here. What we want to do with this shape is we want to make a gradient. So I'm going to go to my gradient panel. Here, you can go to Window and Gradient to open that. 
So you got gradient there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag two of the blue colors in my swatch panel into the slider. Make sure the shape is selected. And then you can see I've got this blue in my gradient slider and I'm going to hold Option or Alt to make a copy of it like that. Left click and drag the other ones out of there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these sliders at 0%. So I'm going to select one of them and select the opacity and make that 0%. And what we're going to do is change the angle to about 90 degrees. So it's coming from the top. So you can see my transparency panel is going to be going down. And as you can see there, that's what it looks like. And now we're going to change it to multiply once again. And then what we can do is about, you know, 50% again. So you can see that instead of a hard shadow, it adds a bit of a softer shadow there. And you can see there how I didn't clean it off properly. So, you know, we can always just fix that later on. So if I just move it, just fix that quickly. No, doesn't have to be perfect because we're just doing a tutorial. But there we have it. If I just lock that, so you can see that our gradient is looked like that. So it adds a more softer shadow. So this is more of a hard shadow. And this is more of a softer shadow that's coming downwards. So it adds a nice dimension there. So that's just using simple gradients and simple shapes to make some nice shadows on type. And then, you know, we can always change the color. Make sure that this is locked. You can see what it looks like there. make that black so you can see the, the type of shadows it looks like thanks so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below and let me know if you liked it or if you want to see something new and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see some fresh new design content every week